You know I love me a good D-Day battle, and I do love me some forts with the new Warships DLC. Look at this thing. We've got a battleship on our doorstep. It's got so many propellers on it, it can move. Well, it's not moving at all. That's the weirdest thing. They've even got little landing craft with defenses on them. They've got mortars, but you know what I've got? I've got cannons. So let's... Oh, we almost shot down that plane. Incoming airstrike. Uh oh, you better close those blast doors. Okay, I think we are going to need a little bit of anti-aircraft defense. I mean, we're essentially the Germans in this scenario, and the Americans are, well, the guys in the boats, and the British, and the Canadians. I'm not forgetting you. Fire some guns, man. Shoot some stuff down. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ooh, that protective shield. It's like D-Day, but our defenses have amazing protective shields. I feel like that's what we need to do today to give ourselves a chance. Incoming! Oh god. Okay, this is just not stopping. It's it's a little bit ridiculous. Oh no. We have a breach in the base that we're gonna have to repair. Oh, that's easy. Well, first things first, we could probably use some machine guns here. Until we get our technology up so we can get some of the more advanced stuff. Oh, that's a big ol' artillery barrage. Okay. Oh no, that's that's gonna hit. Ooh, that was a massive hit. Oh my gosh, followed up by another one? You know what? We need to return fire. Their anti-aircraft defenses and anti-projectiles are probably as strong, maybe even stronger than our own, it seems. So we're gonna need to build some advanced technology deep in our base because why we have this base, it's nice, but we need to put protective force fields on it, which can come in multiple different ways. Like we could have blast doors, which is definitely one of my favorites. Okay, now that we've got these machine guns, they're doing a decent job at shooting down incoming. Oh, <laughs> I say that and then a mortar sneaks in. All right, so it looks like we've got, wait, two shield projectiles or two shield deflectors. Why do I say shield projectiles? And how is our currency? Our currency is okay. We actually produce quite a bit. So maybe some storage would be a really good idea. So they're firing tons and tons of missiles. Oh my gosh. The shield generators are absolutely incredible and I think we're gonna need one here. Okay, whatever just got rocked. Oh man, the enemy is relentless. Now, now I'm kind of getting an idea. Can they stop that? Well, uh, they could, but we missed the target. We need to create spaced armor. It's like we're building tanks. Oh wait, could you have forts with tanks? Fire! All right, this is this is just getting obscene and difficult, but we're able to build projectile shields. See, look, when they work, they work great. But as far as what we're gonna use, because I feel like if we played as the enemy team, which we're gonna do next, I think you can build and start advancing onto the beach, which I think is one of the coolest things I've seen in a fort map in a long time. I mean, everywhere I look, I just see things in need of massive repairs. But the more deflector shields we get, the more I'm gonna feel like we're in Star Wars. <laughs> Alright, I am in need of a sniper so that I can target the enemy base. I think I'm gonna put one right in here. That way he's pretty protected. Decently protected. Beautiful! These deflector shields are working. It's D-Day, but with like force fields. I think we can now answer the question of what would happen if the Germans had shield generators. Like the Battle of Hoth and Return of, or Empire Strikes Back. These things looked like they were pretty good. Oh. Oh, still firing a little high. I'm just like worried that when I shoot, I might shoot my own base. It's been known to happen. We have multiple shield generators back here. Let's give these another go. We'll take a little bit of the velocity off and still, that was even worse than the last time. Oh, it got through the shield generator. How does that happen? Somebody shoot that missile down. Oh, <laughs> that's basically, it's not a nuke, but it's pretty dang close. What's on fire? Oh, the ship's on fire. All right, they've, they've taken out one of our shield generators. A little late on the uh, force field there, Heinrich. <laughs> Can I please hit the enemy ship with battleship guns? Yes! And almost immediately we've hit their core. Okay, this battleship is vulnerable. Fire everything! Let's hope something gets in. Oh, this one looks like it's gonna land. 
Ooh, yes. All right, there's their airfield right here. This is where they launch all their planes. You can tell by the guy who looks like he's Maverick from Top Gun. Oh my gosh, I'm excited for the new Top Gun movie. Boom, force fields. Yeah, I think we definitely have the advantage. All right, now what are we going to do to defeat them, right? Let's try to target. Do you think I could build down here? It's possible. Oh man. Oh wait, the ballistic is still up. The ballistic is still up. Only two rockets made it all the way there, and one was the ballistic. Boom! We just took out the superstructure of this battleship. This is what's fun about like sandbox games like this, is you can kind of imagine any scenario you want. Speaking of which, we have a very talented map maker named Rage Alert, who's really good at making maps, which is why I said he's a talented map maker. He makes maps, talentedly. Is that oh, is that a word? <laughs> Editor, is that a word? <laughs> All right, we've got an eruption coming. Come on, ballistic missile, get through, get through the energy shield. Oh, it duffed itself right on the energy shield. Oh man, forts, but D-Day, incredible. What I could do is upload these to double barrel guns. All right, and once those hit, oh, do they have a core at the back? We're gonna fire these missiles. Unfortunately, we're firing them right when they fired some mortars. No, okay. Cause I I, fe I feared that my anti-aircraft batteries would also shoot down a lot of this. Oh my gosh. Energy shields, man. Energy shields are so good. I do kind of wish that these big old school artillery guns could be upgraded. Those were good hits. See, if we want to get rid of like actually hit, we need to take out this little Higgins boat because they just shred everything. Well, one little thing gets through each time. We've almost got our double barrels. And then right then, we're, we're just gonna go straight to triples, which I just love that they do that. I'm gonna try to arc the shot a little bit. No, that's, I have to shoot over this base and I'm afraid I'm gonna hit it and like blow myself up. As one does <laughs> in forts. I feel like if you haven't blown up your own base on accident, you don't play forts. Or maybe you found the get good button. I don't know, I've been looking for it for a while. Are these things even generating anything? Wait a minute. How is their wind blowing underground? Do the mole people exist? Deflector shields are activated. Ooh, we're gonna need them. Activate the deflector shields. I'm gonna use this, cause we're about to get hit. I'm gonna manually fire it. You may fire your missiles. Oh, now they're retargeting? Do they know what I'm doing? Oh, that's a ballistic. Fire the deflectors. <laughs> I did that. I did that. I did it all by myself. Boom. Boom. Fire six artillery shells in unison. And uh, pray that I'm somewhat accurate. Which I am somewhat accurate. <laughs> oh my goodness. That was fantastic. That is what I am talking about. Those look good. The first one anyway. Yeah, man. Who gave, like, would it, you know how, like, there's all those, like, German UFO stories? Like, oh, man, after World War II, the Germans knew they were losing, so they went down to Antarctica, and they had UFOs in Operation High Jump. We invaded Antarctica. Well, maybe the aliens gave them this advanced technology called shield generators. I mean, it, it's all possible. It's just not probable at all. <laughs> Yeah, the core is exposed. Target it with missile launch. Ah. Oh. Oh, the ballistic got through and blew up right around here. Oh, those are mortars, not machine guns at the front of that battleship. Deck. Three. Gun barrel. Focus. Fire. Oh, that's juicy. Oh, the sheer. Oh, my God. It's gorgeous. See, that's the problem with nuclear powered battleships. You blow up that reactor, things are gonna blow up a little bit more than maybe you had hoped. Now the question remains of where are the other cores? Not down here. Wait a minute, what's that? Like, what is that? An upgrade center? I need to destroy these guys. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to build down here, but if I could, it would be incredible. So to do that, we're gonna have to create some like super weird structure. I'm gonna like, oh God. Oh, it's cracking. Oh, it's dangling. Dingly dangle and it fell. Oh man, imagine if people were on that. Maybe we'll try ropes. We'll make like a suspension bridge. 
Is this, are we playing Polybridge all of a sudden? All right, we need that on that rope. This is weird, it's not like, huh. All right, here we go. Oh, it's wobbling. Oh no, <laughs> cataclysmic failure. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to get there. Man, there's so much in our bunker system that the enemy would just not be able to hit. Like, how are you supposed to detonate all of this? Wow, I love those things. Now that they're working properly, we designed like a special base. Ooh, and it just didn't work. All right, can I target this boat? I don't think so. Oh, missiles going underwater, boy. We've caused a massive fire on the battleship. There's not much left of it. And in fact, it's possible we could rip it in half if we had the right weapons. But I'm gonna do something kind of weird. I wanna fire them up and see if I can't arc them onto these Higgins boats. That looks a little bit too high, but just barely. Oh, they got explosive cans on the back. <laughs> Who designed these ships? Will that work? No, that is also too high. And they'll probably fire the, uh, yep, force field. But two of them got through. We're trying to hit this boat right here. We're gonna try this. Oh, there we go. That, oh, that, that Higgins boat is <laughs> just a kid. Are you kidding me? Oh, he, he is like in this magical spot. It's like the Bermuda Triangle. I don't, I don't know. It's just like a magical spot. Magic. All right, so that was a little bit short, right? So we need to go a little up. And then I think we should have this Higgins boat's number. Oh yeah, he's dead. He's not dead? It flipped over. The Oh, I like how the propellers don't work anymore if they're upside down or out of the water. <laughs> Look at this. How is that thing alive? Oh. Where is the core? How they have a battleship gun? Where's the core on this thing? How is it still functioning? What we need to do is put a sniper out here so I can target with missiles. Cause we have this group here. Oh, they're firing back again. They're giving us a fight. And there's definitely a core like somewhere back here. Cause we hit this area and we got the alarm sound, which is a good sign. Target, let's finish this thing off. They have no defenses. So as long as we don't hit our own base. <laughs> the ballistic missile missed. How is there a core? I don't think there is. I think there's some weird mystery going on here. It's burning up. Unbelievable. Let's see if any of these shells can finish it off. Oh! Yep, there we go. Yeah, they didn't have a core. It didn't go nuclear. Normally, that's not how forts works. I feel like we broke the game. Or maybe it's the aliens. You see this moon up here? Just imagine UFOs coming down and we have to defend humanity. All right, so what we need to do is somehow take this thing out. Can it stop six shots? Huh. That's, that's just impressive. But it does need time to reload. That's when we got to hit it. And not, not the water in front of it. Oh my gosh. Wait a minute. What if we... Oh my goodness! I just destroyed it with a snapshot. That's incredible. That means our time is nigh. Fire the missiles now. There, there's nothing that can stop us. Mortars, I guess. Yes! Oh, they have a core in the front. Okay. Here we go. Raining down absolute fire. And then the last Higgins boat, which is like an armored version or something. I wish you could have like drill missiles and torpedoes. Super weapons, sort of like worms back in the day, how they had super sheep and concrete donkeys, super banana bombs, crazy weapons like that. That's what we want. Oh boy, oh boy, this thing is about to break in half. Let's take out this little gun. Is it called a gondola? I guess it's a turret. Yeah, gondolas hang from under, you know, they're at ski resorts and they hang under airplanes is what they... Oh man. All right, if we can split this ship, there's so many fires right now. They're spending all their resources just trying to put that out. Split the ship. Split the ship. We're just, we're just going all out. We got, oh, those are missiles. 
Those are their missile launchers. Look at the how, look at this bend. All right, here we go. First core, and then the rear of the ship. I think, I think this is it. Oh yeah. Wait, there must be a core back there. That's why it's floating. Oh, it went nuclear. Yes. Now I think it's just the one at the front. Oh my goodness. That was perfect. How many cores does this thing have? Oh, no more. Now it's sinking. I love the sinking. I feel like it could be more dynamic. But like, if it was true warships. Still, this is an amazing DLC. So now what we need to do is somehow hit this the shortest thing to us. I don't think... Yeah, we're gonna overshoot it. <laughs> now what about these guys? Wait a minute. Do those have a chance? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, they do. It's done. It's done, so We have defended the beaches of Normandy using force fields. D-Day was never the same. Thanks for watching another episode of Forts. Pull the trigger on the like button if you did enjoy the video. And let me know what kind of maps we should make in Forts.